Virginia. Fátima, Virginia. Hi, Jorge. En Roel, my Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing really good. Are you happy that you are going to start a new level? When do you start the new um the new module or the next level? Cuando comienzan el siguiente? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know too. So Usually, how many days do you have off when you finish one to start the other one? One month. Month? Oh. Están por un mes, pero después cuando termina, ¿cuánto tiempo esperan para comenzar el siguiente? El nuevo aviso. La vez pasada fue como un mes. Wow, that was a lot. Sí, fue bastante. Uh, la ah, no, la vacación fue en medio. Ajá. Sí. Pensé que comenzaban cabal, terminan y les dan como una semana y después comenzaban. Ya, yeah, I didn't know how it works. <laughs> en una o dos ocasiones sí fueron como una o dos semanas, pero ahí fue variando. Ah, so it's different. Yes, different. Got it. So thank you for finishing everything. <laughs> yes, finished. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're gone. You can have vacation. <laughs> yeah. Good Hi, evening, Anna. teacher. Good evening. Anna always is smiling. And happy. <laughs> ah, siempre. <laughs> That's good to be positive. Um, hi. <laughs> good. Última clase, teachers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I the last class. He's yeah. sad. <laughs> Yeah, actually it is because you get used to people and then you have to move on the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have a question, Fatima Vivi. No. Also Fatima Vigail was raising her hand. Yeah. Is everybody happy? Mm. <laughs> Vacation is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Ah. <laughs> okay, no worries, Fatima. That happens. Uh, hi, Herbert and Fatima, Abigail and Astrid. How are you doing? I think I'm getting sick today. I'm kind of, a, hopefully it's not anything bad, but it's like, um, I feel like getting a flu or a cold. I don't know if it is because it's raining or what, but it's like, uh, I feel like, uh, I wish I, I were able to be sleeping. But that's one of the things that I like to do. I, I never told you that there are two things that I love to do, eating and sleeping. That's why I have, that's why I have these chubby cheeks because I really like to eat <laughs> and sleep. So most of my time, what I do is cooking. I like to cook actually because I like to eat. So yeah, who likes to cook? Yes. What is your favorite food? 
barbecue ribs barbecue pork barbecue ribs. ribs yeah those are my favorite but i like everything give me like i like soups too like uh, sopa de gallina india any type of soup like uh, a beef soup i like a everything so. What is a squirrel? A squirrel. Come on. A squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. Pero esa no es una sopa. De hecho, la cocinan con. Um, ¿Cómo se llama este? Jugo de manzana. Porque es como la, el jugo de manzana blanda. Y lo ponen como a cocinar por cuatro horas. Para mm. que se ablanden. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ardillas al horno. Sí. Yeah. yeah that, it, it is nice to try new food. Actually, I like to try new food. But uh, my cousin was like, uh, why are you trying that? At the end, you don't eat it. And uh, sometimes she was right, so I stopped doing that. Okay, so it's time for starting the class. Today is going to be the last day. I hear like echoing. Oh, there it goes. Hi, Astrid. Good to see you. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Okay, good. So I was asking which was the topic that you would like to review and do a little bit more about it. And um, Astrid and Ernesto said uh, uh, the present perfect and also like a structure of sentences and the use of uh, yet and already. So we're going to do a little bit of that. And if you have uh, something, you can let me know. Tyler, Mary, and Eneida, and who else? Jesus and Luis. Ah, Luis Bonilla. It is. Uh, uh, hey, teacher. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, I will present it. And we're going to put it down. And we're going to say the date. So today is, which day is today? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. August, August 17, 17, 2022. 2021. 2021. 2021. Yesterday was, which day? It yesterday, was yesterday was Monday. Monday, August. August, August 16th. 2021. 16. Exactly. Good. So today we're going. Perfect. Thank you, Jorge. So today we're going to make a review of uh, present perfect and we're going to use already, yet, and we're going to do um, some others. And if you have uh, other topics that we have uh, that you want to clarify or you have doubts, we can do it too. So I decided to start with verbs in present because it's important to know the verbs that we have in present, then the verbs that we use in past and the verbs that we use in the present perfect, but they go in the past participle. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna need your help. And, uh, okay, tell me verbs in present. Work, work, cook, work, cook, cook, cook. Walk. Walk. which one? Walk, walk, Room. walk, real, mm -hmm. run, read, Room. wash, wash, room teacher. Uh huh. Well, it's run. <laughs> I was going to write room. What is the other one? What 
Did someone say another verb? Yeah. Go. Go. Mm -hmm. Dream. Which? Uh, clean. Mm -hmm. Another. Play. 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 Sleep. ¿Cómo Play. decimos? Play. Jugar. Eat. Right. Will. Right. Leave. Okay. Ya tenemos suficientes. There are a lot of verbs. Okay. Many, many verbs. Now, what is the structure of a sentence in present? ¿Cuál es la estructura de una oración en presente? Subject. Subject. Ah, subject. Yeah. Perfect. And I have, we know I, you, he, she, it, we, they. But if I want to be a specific, I can say a name. Which name I can say? You can tell me a name from uh, your classmate. George. <laughs> okay. You can say Herbert. <laughs> George, ok, George, y ahora qué le debemos de agregar, este es el sujeto, George, que lo, nos estamos refiriendo a he or she, he, he. he. ajá, he. George, then what do we say, George, how do we make that sentence in present, what is the next thing, George has, ajá, We can use one of these verbs or another verb. George has. 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 What he has now to make it complete. George has, we have the subject and the verb. Has. Worked on yesterday. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que estamos haciendo una oración en presente. En presente. Simple present. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> en simple present. We're going to start from the basic one and then we're going to move to this um, present <laughs> perfect. Okay. Perhaps it's okay. George has a cat, a dog, a car. What do you want to say? A new car. A new car. Mm -hmm. Then, what do we have here? We have... Uh, we have... Uh, what do we call this? Subject. I'm going to write it here. Subject. Plus what? Plus... What is the next thing that we write? What do we have? Plus... Bear. Plus, plus what? Complement. Uh huh. Plus. Complement. So that's the structure in, in what? In present. What are present. we studying here? Simple present. That's the simple present. And we have in simple present, we have the. We have the verbs in the base form. Except uh, the exception is when we have he, she, it, that it changed. That we add es or s. So that's the structure. And these are the verb in present. Now we're going to move and we can move with those. I'm going to write in the top present. Here. Simple present. Okay. Now, if we move to the next one, that we can move it, and we can do these verbs in past. How we would how that would be? Como sería entonces? If we do these verbs in past, I want to do it with text because it's easy. 
So if I want to do this very work in past, what it will be? Can do it in this side. We're gonna do past. George, you can write the verbs. George, I can work. Ajá, vamos a hacer los verbos en pasado. Okay. Verbs, ajá. Work. 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 Ese es un verbo regular o irregular? Regular. 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 So we use all of these. What about the other one? Cook. Cook. What about walk? Walk. Walk. Uh huh. What about run? Run, 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 run. 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 R A M. Run. No. Okay. We have walk and then run and then in pass run. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then read in pass. What? How do we write read in pass? The same was read. Exactly. Is this? Uh huh. Is the same way read, but we said read. Como el color rojo, red. I have read a book. La diferencia en este del pasado es que va, se escribe igual, pero la pronunciación es diferente. Es por eso que George read a book. Por eso es que se sabe que es el pasado. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo haríamos? Y este wash, ¿cómo iría wash? Wash. 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 Mm -hmm. Wash. Mm -hmm. Edie. What about go? Went. 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 What about clean? Clean it. Clean. 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 What about play? Play. 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 What about a sleep? Slept. 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 That's an irregular verb. Change completely. Completa, cambia completamente. What about right? Rot. 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 Mm -hmm. What about leave? Lie. Right. Life. Lived. Mm -hmm. Lived. Lived. Mm -hmm. So this is present and this is past but then I have a question teacher go ahead uh, uh, I confuse live con live life life live uh, life um live life is vida live is vivir like live la vida loca vivir la vida loca live Live. Just <laughs> oh. for you to oh. remember. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Thanks. It's like the famous song, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry Thanks. that I did that. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. These are present and these are past. past. So how do I do the sentence? What is going to change in the sentence? Like from simple present and simple past. What is going to change? ¿Qué va a cambiar? If I use uh, George. Is... The verb. Uh-huh. George. Al. Had. A, a new car. A new car. I have a Good. question teacher. Sorry. Go ahead. No worries. I confused. Uh, Con A and A, when, what is different? It's just the pronunciation. You can say a car or a new car, but sometimes it doesn't sound good. Like, an, uh, what can I say? A, a, a apple? No, an apple. An apple. An apple. That's an, an apple. apple. Uh -huh, an mm -hmm. apple. Yeah, so uh, a banana. 
A banana. A banana. A banana. Yeah, some people say it like A, like how you pronounce the letter A. But some people said a new car, a new car. It depends. It's both are correct. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it depends on how you want to pronounce it. I think. You're welcome. Understand. Okay. Understand. Correct. Good. Okay, so we can go to the next one. So this is simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple past. Simple, simple past. Past. So the, the difference is the verb. Let me see if I can highlight it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to erase it. Okay. I'm gonna do it. There it goes. Okay, so and this is has. Present and past. I don't know why. It doesn't keep probably, but yeah, it banish. Ah oh, yeah, it is the banish pen. So it disappear just to mark them. Okay, now that we know them. We're gonna see how tricky it is, and we're going to go with, and we use has in here. So that's gonna make it tricky because we can use the verb has as an auxiliary verb and as a verb. So when we go, oh, we, we are already in the past participle. So, so what it would be the verbs in the past participle? I want to see if I can do it in here. So it's going to be past. Participle. Okay. ¿Cómo serían los verbos en pasado participio? Algunos se mantienen y, al, y algunos otros cambian. Work, ¿se mantiene o no? Se mantiene. Se mantiene. Uh -huh. Work. Y cook. cook. También. También uh -huh. se mantiene. Walk. Creo que vamos a hacer los que no se mantienen. Los que tienen diferente escritura. Eh, uh -huh. Irregulares okay. porque todos. Ahora me van a ayudar. Vamos a ver cuál es el pasado participio de run. Run. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿cuál es el pasado participio de read? Read. Read. The same teacher. The same. Read or reading is reading. the same. Reading. Read. Read. Uh, reading is writing is como the ride, the manejar. That is reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. PM. Mm -hmm. Es el mismo. El pasado participio de read es el mismo. Es en... Uh, presente, pasado y pasado participio. No, oh, yes. Uh -huh. So, what about wash? Wash. Uh -huh. What about uh, um, went? No. Lo que son los mismos no los voy a escribir para que, bueno, quizás los voy a escribir para que no se vayan a, a confundir. Ah, ok. Washed. What about went? Gone. 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 Mm -hmm. Gone. What about clean? Cleaned. Mm -hmm. Cleaned. What about play? Played. 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 What about a sleep? Sleep. A sleep. sleep. Mm -hmm. Is the same in past? The same. 
Past participle is the same. The same. The same. Slept. Mm -hmm. Slept. What about rot? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Written. Mm -hmm. Written. What about lived? Do you think? Lived. So if you see, sometimes it's kind of confused because some verbs don't change in the past. And with the past participle, they keep the same, but as some really change. Algunos si cambian. Y quiero ver for text. So I want to use this. For example, when. Uh huh. Went. It's uh, written. Uh huh. But uh, because we have uh, some that don't change, but uh, sometimes they really change. Like uh, um, when you have verbs that they really change, so you have to be careful. Tienen que tener cuidado cuando los verbos cambian. In this case, we just have two that they change, like go, went, gone. And we have, um, oh no, it was, the, <laughs> I did the wrong, the el incorrecto, the wrong one. So I wanna erase this. Okay, so those ones, like write, wrought, and written. So those are different. In the three tenses is different. So that's why you have to learn them. En los tres tiempos cambia. En el presente, si, si vemos, right. es write, wrote, and Not written. Mm -hmm. So, these ones, you have to be really careful and you have to know how to do, um, how they go in each tense, if they are simple, past, or past participle. Okay, questions? Preguntas? Solo, en su mayoría, dicho, los verbos regulares se mantienen con algunas excepciones. Lo que más cambia son los irregulares. Uh -huh. Los irregulares son los que siempre cambian y cambian completamente. Los regulares siempre, diría yo, que siempre se mantienen los mismos. Uh -huh. En pasado y en pasado participio. Solo tiene que saber uno... Si, se, si le agrego solo E, si le, si le agrego solo D, o le tengo que agregar ED. O si cambian cuando son uh, verbos uh, que el, si tienen una Y, que hay que cambiarle la Y por I de puntito o I latina y agregarle ED. Entonces tiene que saberse las reglas del pasado para uh, manejar bien el pasado participio. Bueno, que lo usamos en el simple en el um, present perfect <laughs> presente perfecto okay good can I move to the next one puedo seguir en la siguiente yes teacher oh, perfect I'm gonna clear all drawings and then I can go to the next one okay then now that we know the verbs because it's important to know the verbs la estructura de los verbos Y ahora tenemos el presente perfecto en la forma afirmativa. So, we know that we have the subjects, and subjects can change. With I, you, we, they, we use. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Este es auxiliar verb, just I abbreviated. Es el verbo auxiliar que usamos. Okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. con estos sujetos, y yo puedo decir we, puedo decir... Um, Ana Guerra, Edwin, and Ana, Hercules. So uh, we, I can substitute for different names. They, too, or he, she, it. Lo puedo sustituir por nombres propios. Recuérdense que he puede ser Ernesto, puede ser Edwin, y muchos más que pueden ser, siempre son sujetos. No importa que no diga he. O puede ser she, que puede ser Ana Guerra, Ana Hércules, Dora Mary, 
Astrid, Eneida, Roelma, puede ser cualquiera de ellas, pero siempre sigue siendo un sujeto. Y esos sujetos son nombres propios, usamos nombres propios, somos más específicos. Y tenemos it, que puede ser un carro, puede ser un gato, puede ser un lugar, etc. Ahora, con estos sujetos, with this subject, which, are, am I gonna, which auxiliary verb am I going to use? Have or has? ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar que voy a usar? Uh -huh. Voy a usar have. Uh -huh. En el presente perfecto, es obligación que usemos este verbo auxiliar como cuando usamos en el, en el simple present, cuando usamos do y does. Es una obligación que lo usemos. O cuando usamos el verbo auxiliar, did. La, la, la diferencia en este es que en el presente perfecto, el verbo auxiliar lo usamos para afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas. Es como nuestro mejor compañero y amigo que nunca lo vamos a dejar a un lado. No tienen que olvidarse del auxiliar. Ahora que ya tenemos que I, you, we, they puede ser cualquiera de estos sujetos. Which one do you want to use? ¿Cuál quieren usar? Well, I, you, we, or they? We have. Have you. We're going to use we. Vamos a usar we porque somos, vamos a hacer una oración con nosotros. Ok. So, ok. We have. ¿Qué podemos decir? What about. Bueno, voy a hacer. Pueden decirme yeah. otro. Yo pensé en been. ¿Qué otro? ¿Qué otro uh, verbo? Yeah. 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 We have studied. Ah, we have studied English. Mm -hmm. Studied English. Podemos usar four or six. Uh -huh. They, uh, we have studied English for. ¿Cuántos meses tienen de, estudiar, de, de estar estudiando inglés o cuántos meses uh, o años? No sé cuánto tiempo hacen. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace? We have studied English for seven for months. Uh -huh. um, for seven months. months. Uh -huh. Seven months. Eso significa que Ustedes han estado estudiando inglés por siete meses. Entonces, es algo que ha pasado, que está en el pasado, pero también es parte del presente. No se ha terminado. Si ya hubieran terminado todos los módulos, entonces sería... Pasado. ¿Qué? Pasado. pasado. Ajá. De, uh, we have started English for seven months. So... If I move it, I can move it if you want to see it. So specifically. To each of them. So that's what we have. This is what we have. So this is the verb in past participle. Si se fijan, el verbo es un verbo regular o irregular? Regular. Regular, regular verb. Exactly. So that's why we are not uh, uh, changing the verb. Or I can say, we have been. Si escribo, voy a usar otro verbo. Voy a poner aquí una pleca para que vean. I can say, I can say, we have been studying. Sí, pero ese es otro tiempo. Or we have been in English classes. I can say we have been. Maybe I'm going to do it down. Lo voy a hacer abajo para que no se me confunda. We have been. We have, I'm going to use another verb. We have. 
been in English at <laughs> English classes for seven months. For what did you say, Astrid? No, no, the day and what the for? No. No, since seven months, I can say since 2020. Puedo decir, podría cambiarlo por since. Si, si, usáramos since, si usáramos since, tendríamos que estar diciendo desde julio, por ejemplo. Ajá. Ajá, puede ser. Since July. Ajá, puede since ser. January. Ajá, que no hay lógica en la oración. Ellos eh, están o en... Están Nosotros... En... Es que lo que dice es, nosotros hemos estado en clases de inglés por siete meses. Y puedo usar since. We, you can say, we have been in English classes since, pero le tiene que cambiar. Since, desde, uh, ¿qué mes comenzaron? February uh, or January. February. This February. February. Ajá, yeah. entonces sería, nosotros hemos estado en las clases de inglés desde febrero. Uh -huh. So that's with those subjects. And then we have he, she, it, which is the auxiliary verb that we use. We use has. So, and we can say, he or she has studied. We can use the same verb or we can use a different one. Podemos usar el mismo verbo o uno diferente. Has studied. ¿Qué más podemos decir? ¿Quieren usar otro verbo o quieren mantener ese mismo verbo? Ayúdenme. Uh -huh. Okay. Which verb do you want? Dígame otro verbo. Podríamos decir she has. Uh, we can use written or um, which other verb? He has uh, have work. Learn. Learn. He has learned. Is that correct? I am not uh, totally sure. Okay. Learn is in that way. I have learned. He has learned what? Many topics, many, many, okay. Many topics. Uh -huh. Él ha estado aprendiendo muchos temas. Uh -huh. Okay. So, which other, or she, he, it has learned many topics. ¿Qué otro verbo podemos usar? We're going to put there, the complement. ¿Qué otro verbo podríamos usar? Acuérdense que siempre he, she, it es has, el verbo auxiliar has. Which other verb? What about traveled? Traveled. She has traveled to many countries. Or she or he has traveled to Spain. 
or to Europe. Es decir, que ha estado viajando a Europa. That means that can be like he is going to continue or she's going to continue traveling. It's not that he or she is done with. Yes, no? <laughs> ¿Cómo vamos? Countries, ciudades, ¿verdad? No, países. Eso, eso, eso. Europa, ¿Sí? yo que dijo, no. Sí, podría yo, ser pero... como, ajá, países de Europa o podría ah. ser otros países. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Ok, so... That's the affirmative form. And we can move to the negative or do we want to continue doing more examples with this one? Keep it. Okay. Yes? Okay. So we're going to do with, um, I wanna write in here. ¿Qué sujeto quieren? Podemos usar cualquier sujeto que quieran ustedes. Voy a hacer una nueva. Ustedes ayúdenme, me van a ayudar con el sujeto. ¿Qué sujeto quieren? Díganme, ¿qué sujeto? Cualquiera de sí. estos que están aquí. Sí. ¿Ah? Sí. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? El sujeto sí. Sí. Eh, me gustaría que trabajara con el verbo tener, sí. Ok, y vamos a usar she, ¿qué verbo auxiliar usamos? Has. Has. Uh -huh. Has. Entonces, el, um, Jorge dice que quiere usar el verbo tener. Ah. Ajá, entonces va a ir en el pasado participio, es had. Oh. She has had a bike. Uh -huh. A bike for five years. Ella ha tenido una bicicleta por cinco años. Ajá. Uh -huh. O we can say she has had a bike since she was a child. Ella ha tenido una bicicleta de desde que era una niña, uh -huh. Uh -huh. desde que era pequeña. Wow, Entonces, sure. la ha tenido, no sé, todavía, se la dieron de regalo de cumpleaños cuando era bebé o yo qué sé, uh -huh. cuando tenía cinco uh -huh. años y todavía la tiene. Uh -huh. So that's what it means. Oh. Has had. She has had a bike since she was a child. So those are the ways that we can use. She has had a bike for five years. So those are different ways how we can use for and how we can use sin. Yes. Okay. Another one. Otro sujeto. They. Mm -hmm. They. ¿Qué auxiliar usamos en ese caso? Oh. Uh -huh. They have. Y el, el verbo en pasado participio, ¿qué verbo quieren? Which verb do you want to use? Al, al. Add? So it's added. Add. She, or which one? What it means in Spanish? ¿Cuál, cuál me dice, Ana? Añadir. Ah, es add. 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 Mm -hmm. Add. Add. Sugar. They have added mm -hmm. sugar mm -hmm. to 
for the coffee. Oh. Okay. Papers. Mm -hmm. They have added sugar to the coffee. Hmm. That means that they are going to continue adding sugar. They used to do it, but they do it now too. Okay. They have added sugar to the coffee. Okay. What else would you like? Then we move on to the um, negative form. Nos podemos mover a la forma negativa. Or we can continue with this one if you want. ¿Quieren continuar con la afirmativa o, o pasamos a la negativa? Negative. Negative teacher, please. Perfect. Okay. So this is the negative. Which is the difference in this one? ¿Cuál es la diferencia en esta? Solo le agregamos el? El not. El not. Mm -hmm. So it's not much the difference, just we have to add not. Okay, so I'm going to do the example. Okay, ¿qué sujeto usamos? ¿Cuál sujeto quieren usar? Dígame, I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. Which one do you want? I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. Um, yo estaba trabajando en una plataforma, es, en una plataforma, eh, en, en una, este, como una, una app. Uh -huh. Y este, en ocasión, no me aceptaba que, traba, que, que pusiera el not, sino que solo el no. No sé. Uh -huh. Porque tal vez lo usaba, digamos, cuando responde una pregunta y es la forma corta, entonces no, no puede usar not. Por ejemplo, I can say, have you been in Europe before? And then you can say, no, I haven't. Oh. Uh -huh. Depende si es una respuesta corta o es una respuesta larga o completa. Es, depende cómo se la pida. Tiene que fijarse en qué es lo que le pide. Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So, which was the subject that you said? Um, which one do you want to choose? I. I. Okay. I. So, the auxiliary verb that I'm going to use, which one is going to be? I, I haven't. Uh, uh -huh. I have que la forma contractada la puedo hacer de la forma contractada que es I I've uh -huh. I've uh -huh. I, I, I have, have I have not uh -huh. not que verbo podemos usar puedo usar been in Bow. Can it work? ¿Dónde no han estado? Aún no han estado. Canada, China. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been in China. Ok. China. O oh, lo puedo hacer. I haven't. I have. Haven't. I haven't been in China. In China. In China. China. So Snicker. those are different. <laughs> okay, so those are the different ways that I can do it. I can do it in the four um, contracting form or I can do it in the normal way. I haven't been in China or I haven't been in uh, Paris that I want to go or I haven't been in Spain or any country in Europe. So that's where I want to go. <laughs> Hopefully. So those are the ways that we can do it in the negative form. So that's how it changed. That we add the verb not. Yeah, I compliment. Mm -hmm. And then we have the uh the verb in past participle and the complement. Okay. But 
then we can go to the next one that is uh, you want to do another example with this one algún otro ejemplo con quieren que hagamos otro ejemplo con con la forma negativa with this person he she or it mm -hmm. okay we're gonna do with he because we use the okay he and which is the auxiliary verb that we don't have to forget no tenemos que olvidarnos he has has qué verbo quieren usar negative not mm -hmm. Vamos a hacerlo, vamos a hacerlo en negativo. He hasn't. Hasn't. Sleep. Sleep. Slept. Slept. Mm -hmm. He hasn't slept. What is the complement? What can we add for complement? Signs tonight. Signs. Signs. Things. 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 Tonight. Things. Two nights ago. That's what you want to say? Um. We can do shorts since yesterday, because then um, okay. yesterday. Uh huh. El no ha dormido desde ayer. Bueno, he can. They. We cannot go to sleep until later today. Okay, but sometimes you take a nap. He hasn't slept since yesterday. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Then I'm going to go to the next one. Because we, I think I saw that we don't have much time, just like 10 minutes. So then we have, we already know the subjects, because why in here that like it's a little bit more, let's say challenging, but it's not. So we have the auxiliary verb. In the interrogative form, we have first what? Que tenemos primero la forma. Tenemos el verbo auxiliar si no usamos una WH question. Pero si usamos una WH question, then we have to use the WH first, like what, who, when, where. Those are WH. But these ones are just the auxiliary verb, which uh, we have to think of which subject do I want to use. ¿Qué sujeto quiero usar? Para saber cuál es el verbo auxiliar que voy a usar primero. ¿Qué sujeto quieren usar? Sí. Sí. Entonces vamos a usar has. el verbo auxiliar has. Uh -huh. has. Has. Y el... Has, uh -huh. she. has she. Y el verbo... Usamos siempre el verbo uh, en pasado well. participio. Has he worked? Uh -huh. Y el complemento. For. For. For 10 years. Thank you. Uh -huh. Has she worked for 10 years? Entonces tenemos el sujeto, el verbo auxiliar, el sujeto, el verbo en pasado participio y el complemento. Mento. Good. Ok. Yeah. Questions about the interrogative form? Can I move to the next one? Ok. I'm going to and sorry because my computer actually this is my husband's computer I don't know how to use the uh, las tildes no puedo usar las tildes en, 
en la computadora. No sé, intenté buscar cómo hacer las tildes y no me salieron. Así que lo siento si ven algunas que no tienen tilde que están en español, pero... No problema. En, en, la, en la parte de abajo... El teclado. Sí, sí es el, el idioma. en inglés. No. Voy a... Porque intenté eso y no me salió por algún motivo. Yo creo que no lo hice bien, pero voy a intentar otra vez porque no pude. Intenté, intenté y dije, bueno, me doy por vencida. Okay, so, thank you. Present perfect in the affirmative form with already. Already indica que ya se ha realizado algo. Por ejemplo, y va antes del, del verbo en pasado participio. Por ejemplo, si yo digo they, vamos a usar el, vamos a usar they, they y el uh -huh. verbo auxiliar, have, y ahí le agrego already, already done, done no. the final test. Entonces, esto es cuando ya algo se realizó. Puedo decir they have. They have already done the final test. Ellos ya han terminado su examen final. Ajá. Así es como uso el already. Y already solo lo puedo usar para las oraciones afirmativas. Afirmativas, exacto. O puedo decir, she has already done the final test. Yeah. Ajá. Y el jet lo uso para las negativas y las la preguntas. interrogativas. Uh -huh. Interrogativas. Yeah. Exactly. Or what other, another question, another um, sentences, sentence. I can use he, y le has. He has. Already. Already. ¿Qué podemos decir que, que ha realizado? ¿Qué la ha realizado? ¿Qué? Pongamos el di para que lo aprendamos bien. Ok. Por lo menos nos vamos, a, eh, nos vamos a acordar de una oración para seguir con las demás. He has already been. Uh, Bien puedo decir, él ya ha estado en algún lugar cuando uso bien. He or she yes. has already been in USA. USA. Mm -hmm. USA. So that can be, él ya ha estado en Estados Unidos o ella ya ha estado en Estados Unidos. Puedes usarse de esas dos formas para cuando... Y es algo que ya lo ha realizado, es decir, ya ha ido ahí, ya ha terminado con su examen final o con su tarea. So it's something that you already have done. Okay. So that's how we use already. Y siempre el already en el presente perfecto va a ir antes del pasado participio, no después, va a ir antes. Okay, so I wanna yeah. go to the next one. And, and then we have a, a present perfect negative form with jet. Jet se utiliza para indicar que la acción aún no ha ocurrido. For example, I can say, I haven't finished my final test yet. No he terminado mi examen final aún. So, yet es como cuando uh, decimos yeah. aún. Uh -huh. Aún wow. o todavía no. Uh -huh. Ok, so I'm going to make the sentence. Um, uh, so, we're going to use you. Pero tenemos ahí you. Y el verbo auxiliar es going to you have. Haven't, uh -huh. haven't finished, finished, finished the homework, 
home work jet. I el have jet. a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. I confuse con D, uh, D, D, D. Uh, ah. Hay alguna regla. Sí, es, depende del sonido de la palabra. Si termina con, si el sonido tiene de consonante o de vocal. Oh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, what termina con consonante o la que está antes del D o la que está después del D. Yeah. Work. Um, homework es el antes. ¿Con qué? Homework. The homework. Ah. So, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The homework. Este es con, ajá, con una consonante. Ajá, termina con consonante. The homework. Ajá. The homework. It's, the homework. Yeah. Suena más feo. Ajá. The homework. Yeah. The It homework. would be kind the of. Homework. Yeah. The homework. The, 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 le queda yeah. mejor el, el da. The homework. It depends. So, actually, I don't think about it. It's like uh, how it sounds better. So, but it's kind of tricky too. Es un poquito complicado cuando... Tiene que pensar, cuando uno está seguro, tiene que pensar, ¿este es un sonido de vocal o es un sonido de consonante? Ah, ok. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, so then we have, jet is always at the end of the sentences. So we use jet at the end. El already lo usamos antes del pasado participio, pero el jet lo usamos siempre al final de las oraciones, ya sea Oración. negativas o afirmativas. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Y es, se utiliza para indicar que la acción, aquí va a poner acción, aquí puedo ver, acción a un, va en la u, ¿cierto? O en la a un, no a un, <ríe> no ha ocurrido. <ríe> Entonces, estos son para las, las negativas y las interrogativas. No podemos usar el yet en las uh, afirmativas, solo negativas e interrogativas. Ok. So we can go to the next one. Y este es yet with interrogative. So, it, oh, I, I forgot to erase. Olvidé de, de, de borrar el not, pero no lleve el not. Ahorita lo voy a borrar. Pero en las afirmativas, en las interrogativas, es el, el mismo orden de las afirmativas, de las interrogativas, pero lleva al final el yet. Esto no lleva not. Okay. So, we're going to do this one quickly. Vamos a hacer esta rapidito porque ustedes tienen que ir a descansar también. Entonces, voy a hacer as... She worked uh, on the, ¿qué podemos decir? On a project. On a project. Yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> okay. So that's how we use it. Has he worked on the project yet? Es al final. Siempre va a ir al final de las, de las interrogativas y las negativas. Ok. And I think that's going to be it. And we don't have so. Yes, I want to say thank you for your hard work and for finishing what you have to finish and for being good students. And I hope that you have. Yeah. I hope you have a really good uh, uh, vacation in the next uh, class that you start. I don't know when you're going to start, that you have a really good experience with your teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.